Lots of garden centres I've noticed now have got bee friendly plant stands. Yeah. This, this is something I've noticed in the last few years and I think more of them should do that. And I think also garden centres, I'd love them to have the courage to talk about the pesticides issue. You know, I know they're selling pesticides, yeah. but, but maybe say, look, if you're choosing plants for bees, maybe grow them without pesticides. Um, and people also need to be aware that very often if they buy their plants from a garden centre, they could be buying them in a pot where the soil has already been treated with an in nicotinoid. So, so maybe maybe be looking, sourcing organically grown plants um, and organic seeds as well. Seed save is another thing. You know, have a look and see what's growing well in your neighbour's garden and see if you can have a cutting. Um, I mean, and on that subject of kind of organisation, actually, because I know it's something we're looking to do in the future is, is obviously looking to perhaps uh, encourage uh, local authorities as well to make their kind of public spaces more bee friendly. And that, I mean, that, that, that could be that's quite, quite a battle for the future, but it could be quite an important one. I mean, it's certainly something we've identified here at Garden Organic as uh, something you know that, that needs to kind of change. Yeah, I think actually, what, if I think one of the most important things of all is to get local authorities on board with this. So it, this needs to be policy needs to be changed from above and right down on the ground level, you know, at grassroots, we need to be growing um, more plants and stop using pesticides. And then the local authorities, instead of planting up their roundabouts with all those ridiculous bedding plants, you know, that just look like felt tip blobs on the landscape, they could be planting, well, if they just used lavender instead, they, then it would be more drought resistant and it would be bee friendly. And the hanging baskets that, that are put up in, Britain in Bloom could get involved in this. Um, and the amenity spaces, again, I think there's some kind of rule about how, how low the grass has to go, so they could be leaving a little bit of space. And I, I know for local authorities, they, you need to convince them that it's not going to cost them any more money, nobody's going to complain, and it's good for the environment um, in that order. So, so it's, it's worth thinking about those things before approaching local authorities and then working with them, um, with local groups, working with the local authorities and maybe offering to help.